International Dance Corporation and a very special welcome to our viewers joining us live on Sky Sports. And the millions joining us around the world. It's time to meet the players, both from Scotland. And firstly, would you please welcome the reigning World Grand Prix champion and the former UK Open champion, the Thorn, Robert Thornton! Time at Sky Sports Darts. That's on Twitter, Instagram at Sky Sports. The crowd pumping here. A Tarn Tower of Gary Anderson against Robert Thornton. Anderson only has to avoid defeat. A win or a draw would do it. He will book his place in the semi finals and join Michael Van Gurin and Phil the Power Taylor. Good win last week. 7 5 win over Barney. 6 6 with Peter Wright. But Thornton is a spoiler. Can he dash the dreams of Gary Anderson? Wayne Marlon, Rod Studio your commentators. Thanks, Dave. Yes, it would take a mathematical miracle for the defending champion to be eliminated before finals night now. Even if he loses tonight, of course, he has one game up in his locker in Rotterdam next week against Adrian Jackpot Lewis. A point from the two games will be enough. Even if he lost twice, he might be able to get through on leg difference, perhaps. And Robert Thornton. Well, as Wayne was saying pre-match, did well to avoid elimination, but since then, not a lot of spark from the Thorn. I've been a bit disappointed with the Thorn in the last couple of weeks, Wayne. I expected him to be competitive, but two, seven, two defeats consecutively. Yeah, he's just, he's just lacked that, that early game rally that you'd like to see of him. His, his first couple of legs in too many matches have been really poor. And this is good. Sky Sports Golden Tickets winners, Jonathan Scholes and his mates. You want to get involved with that at Sky Sports Darts on our Twitter page. And a chance to find a ticket for the Arras, your local boozer. Could be a better way, could it? 96. No. Gary looking for another. Now looking for a 54. 174. He got the 54. Leaves 32. 58. Good old Gary start from Ando. 
the reigning Premier League champ and the reigning world champion. And 24. He convert. The answer is no. 147. 147 for Robert Thornton. 59. Gary McQuart, 8. Double four. Game shot. And Gary first Anderson. Leg. Gary Anderson. The so first leg in first. his pocket. Game on. First of six he requires to be mathematically certain of a place at the 0-2 on finals night as he bids to defend his crown. We know Van Gerwen were there. We know Taylor is there. Anderson is almost there. Will it be Lewis or will it be Snakebite Wright in the final position? 99. 7-1 win for Peter Wright tonight over James Wade. Gives him a chance. Hey, Gary had a, a double header last week. 140. He beat Barney 7-5 and then drew with Peter Wright. But there was a point in that Peter Wright game very yeah, 177 and then took out 56 and the composure he showed just told me that when push comes to shove Gary Anderson we know has got it it's a trait that was missing for many many years but you don't win back-to-back -back world titles and two Premier Leagues if you're not special 60 I think for Gary Anderson it was all about just getting into that top four because he knows when the heat is really turned up, he's got it. As you've just said, Wayne, he had it at the Alexandra Palace back to back, he had it at the O2 Arena, he knows he's got it there in his locker. And whoever he plays at the moment, the most likely outcome is that he'll play Phil Taylor in a semi final. He'll fancy 100. Himself. Really, really? 121. Does Robert fancy this? Triple 17. They go back up for the 60. It's a beautiful marker that, that he got Gary nowhere near. 117. Just not at the races, Robert, is he? He's not the quality, not showing it time and time again like we used to. Robert, you require 72. 48 left. So eight for tops, probably. 32. Gary, you require 40. He's also rushed. That Gary wasn't on the second leg. Gary perfection. Anderson. Two up, Gary Anderson. First. Game on. Well, Robert Thornton has lost five of his last six matches in the Premier League. The odd one out was a 7-2 tonking of Peter Wright. 100. In week 11, that could be a result that really comes back to bite snake bite, couldn't it? Because had he got something there, his uh, prospects of 45. finishing in the top four would have been far rosier. And by contrast, just one loss in 12. 137. Really been solid since. Tricky start when he wasn't. Well, he was under the weather, wasn't he, Wayne? And Mr. Week and just took a little bit of time to get going, but since then he really 100. has heard along. Yeah, and his first two opponents were Michael Van Gogh and Anfield Taylor, so that really didn't help. Well, since then, he's shown all his quality. His first 180. 2-0 up, averaging 103. 100. That's Gary what world champions do, isn't it? Double 12 then. Plenty of time. Six. He's going to miss. He's missed it on the right side, the outside. Comes back for another three at that 24 if he needs them. In fact, he might have a, another six here unless Thornton can find a biggie. 86. Gary Rogan's 24. Three zip. The last time these well, two met was in Exeter, and Gary ran out a 7-4 winner. And I'm not saying the game was poor, but it was one of the worst games I think we've seen in this year's Premier League. Gary averaged just shy of 80, 89, I think, and Robert was was 85. Gary's having none of that tonight. 105, two one eighties. Robert. Just seems to be going through the most. 60. Well, perhaps a pertinent point in this darts match to mention that Robert Thornton has been whitewashed twice in the Premier League this year. 125. 7-0 to Dave Chisnell in week one, and then 7-0 to Phil Taylor. Week six. 96. No one has even been whitewashed twice in the same year, let alone three times. 55. Yeah, some of Robert's performances will, no doubt, kept him up at night. Just 
been it's been so in and out, which is a shame because he's so so capable. For a break of throw. That leaves 36. Robert, you feel needs to get this. Bullseye for tops. Tops now. 68. That was unlucky. Well, Gary yeah, the two dancers had a double in both at tops and both went in virtually the same hole. That's yeah, in the it's hole. It's 4 0 to Gary, Gary Anderson. Anderson. Bit late to Gary to throw first. He has Came the on. darts in legs five and seven. So the whitewash is on. Gary Anderson just needs one more 97. break to throw. Yes. Obviously, he's got a hold. And Gary just losing a the flight there. That's why Robert was standing back. No gamesmanship. It sometimes happens. One hundred. He need to switch. Does need to switch. Because what can happen here, Wayne, is that. For Gary Anderson, it can become too easy and he can lose a little bit of uh, focus and drive. 100. I think it's fair to say that Robert Thornton has no focus or drive. I, I, I know he's, he's a proud man, but from the start of the second leg, he's, he's just kind of tossing the darts away. 140. It's better. Well, it's going to give him a chance of a break of throw. A 1 6 1 is on offer, which may turn the tide. Robert, you know the game is gone, but. I want to be whitewashed again. Treble's 17. Yes, Robert! 136. It was, just got the feeling it might be in that kind of ridiculous thing out of the blue that might happen. It didn't happen. Anderson can't finish here, he's left a bogey. Will it hit a big 20 to leave a bogey? Yeah. Actually moved over to leave a bogey. 25. Go on, Robert. Double four. Double two. Go on, Robert. 21. No one, no one, no one Gary wants to see a professional sportsman get annihilated. Well, that yeah, is now 5-0 to Gary Anderson. Gary Anderson. Thornton Six has had five darts at the match. Game on. Witnessed a couple there. One was, of course, at the bullseye, the previous visit. 140. Nonchalantly thrown the last one. It's not happening for him. But it's happening for this man. That's three. Ninety-five. Well, if Anderson breaks here, he'll have the darts to win seven zip. Never mind all that. What about the nine darter? He never gripped it right. He wanted to re-grip the, the treble five. You could see that with Gary. 96. As he pulled the dart back on the backswing, he, he went to re-grip it again, but thought, ah, it'll go in. Gary! 60. Robert, you require 170. Ninety-six. Gary Oakwell, one hundred and twenty-six. Well, maybe it'll be a one-two-six bullseye finish. No, no, sir. Fifty-eight. Robert you require seventy-four. Single twenty now. Tops. Gets on the sick leg. Robert Thornton. <laughs> Seven well done, Gary. Robert. Robert. Game on. But look, that'll make him feel a whole lot better. No one wants to. Be annihilated and white was 7-0, especially not for a third time. Well, not when it's happened twice before. In the same season. I mean they are rarities, these whitewashers. 140. There to be three against the same player in the same season. Utterly unheard of. Anyway, Anderson leads 5-1. Remember, he only needs to get to six to definitely qualify for the finals. That's the, the key objective here for the Flying Scotsman. 108. First 180 for Robert. 18. I think this is uh, one of the smoothest performances I've seen from Gary Anderson. He's just looked, just looked so in control, so cool. There's just no drama in his throw at all. He's just walking up there, throwing them. And 
making it look ridiculously easy. Robert Uruguay, 122. Treble, 18 needed. Bullseye needed. Missed it once in the match. 97. Gary Uruguay, 40. Missed it again by a whisker. They're not wasting much time, are they? Game shot on the seventh leg. Gary Anderson. 6-1. Gary Anderson. First. Game on. Will be in the playoffs. But the thing is, what's interesting is that Gary Anderson, after this, if he wins, he needs another leg, but it looks a certainty. It will be on 20 points. He'll be two points behind Phil Taylor. Phil Taylor has Adrian Lewis later. Could he possibly nick second spot? It's a possibility. 16. It is a possibility. He's got to play Adrian Lewis next week. Phil Taylor has got to play Michael Van Gerwen next week. 100. Here we see Robert. Just struggle. 100. We've mentioned those seven nils. That it's not going to do you leg difference any good at all. 140. Look really good, isn't he? Averaging 103. 59. Gary Uguan, 161. For a 7-1, can he replicate the scoreline of Peter Wright, James Wade? Just in case you missed it, Peter Wright beat James Wade by 7-1. Gary Uguan, 142. Well, Anderson back then for 118 for the match. We haven't seen a Tom Plus finish in this contest. Dr. Press is Anderson 52. going to... Gary Rectify that and finish with a flourish here. The defending champion. Oh, I think he's got it for double 19. Oh. 99. Robert Uruguay, 19. Well, he will go bullseye. That's his MO. Bullseye now. 65. Robert Thornton Gary Uruguay, may have thrown his last 19. darts of the evening. Can Gary Anderson convert? This double four. Game the answer is yes. We have seen two matches and they've both gone seven one. Gary Anderson beats Robert Thornton by that scoreline. We will see him at the 0 2. Will he be number two there or number three? Gary Anderson marches on. He could, could well retain his title. Well done. You needed to win and you did it in some style. I know I felt kind the back to him, came on stage and I'm like that, you know. I've got the wee boss sitting watching me tonight, so the pressure was on. But yeah, Robert missed a few darts at tops in the wire. So that was uh, that might have been a bit different if you were about three one up. You were almost there. Now you've confirmed that you're in the playoffs and, and that's what you came here to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean even a point, you know, they've been quite happy with a point tonight, so two's a bonus. You know, it's it's, it's been tight, you know. We've seen James lose 7-1 which I didn't think he would lose I mean he lost a lot of darts at double there uh, it was a win the both of needed to win to go through you know but uh, yeah it was it was unlikely James to hit, miss the doubles at what he did you want to keep hold of this title don't you a certain school of thought that you're going under the radar people are talking about Taylor and Van Gerwen yeah it's good I mean like I say I mean scraping scrapes for the, the first 12, 13 weeks, you know, down to finals night, it's whoever plays the best in the night. So the two, Phil and Michael's leaning at the table, you know, but finals night, you never know what's going to happen. Of course, they've got to play each other in Holland as well, haven't they? So, you know, dress rehearsal for something, but it won't worry you who you play. No, like I say, if everyone's concentrating on me, that, that's great for me. You know, I'll just try slipping through the back door. So, uh, you know, like I say, last couple of times I've won it, I've finished about third in the league. Don't know where I'm sitting now, but uh, if you sit third, I'll be quite happy with that. Well done, Gary. Cheers, shop. Cheers, bye.
special welcome to our viewers joining us live on Sky Sports and the millions joining us around the world. It's time to meet the players, both from Scotland. And firstly, would you please welcome the reigning World Grand Prix champion and the former UK Open champion, the Thorn, Robert Thornton! Time at Sky Sports. No one has even been whitewashed twice in the same year, let alone three times. 55. Yeah, some of Robert's performances will, no doubt, kept him up at night. Just been, it's been so in and out. It's a shame because Gary he's so one, so capable. For a break of throw. That leaves 36. Robert, you feel needs to get this. Bullseye for tops. Tops now. 68. That was unlucky. Well, Gary yeah, the two dancers had a double in both at tops and both went in virtually the same hole. That's yeah, in the hole. It's 4 0 to Gary, Gary Anderson. Anderson. Bit late, it's and Gary to throw first. He has Game the on. darts in legs five and seven. So the whitewash is on. Gary Anderson just needs one more 97. break to throw. Yes. Obviously, he's got a hold. And Gary just losing a flight there. That's why Robert was standing back. No gamesmanship. It sometimes happens. One hundred. He needs to switch. Does need to switch. Because what can 59. happen here, Wayne, is that. For Gary Anderson, it can become too easy and he can lose a little bit of uh, focus, drive. 100. I think it's fair to say that Robert Thornton has no focus or drive. I, I, I know he's, he's a proud man, but from the start of the second leg, he's, he's just kind of tossing the darts away. 140. It's better. Well, it's going to give him a chance of a break of throw. A 1-6-1 is on offer. 
which may turn the tide. Looks Robert, Uruguay, though the game is gone, but I want to be whitewashed again. Treble 17. Yes, Robert. 136. Just got the feeling it might be in that kind of ridiculous thing out of the blue that might happen. It didn't happen. Anderson can't finish here. He's left a bogey. Will it hit a big 20 to leave a bogey? He actually moved over to leave a bogey. Go on, Robert. Double four. Double two. Go on, Robert. 21. No one, no one, no one Gary wants to see a professional sportsman get annihilated. Well, that yeah, is now 5 0 like to Gary Anderson. Anderson. Thornton Six has had five darts at the win a match. Game on. We witnessed a couple there. One was, of course, at the bullseye, the previous visit. 140. Nonchalantly thrown the last one. It's not happening for him, but it's happening for this man. That's three. Ninety-five. Well, if Anderson breaks here, he'll have the darts to win seven zip. Never mind all that. What about the nine darter? Oh. Darts. That's on Twitter, Instagram, at Sky Sports. The crowd pumping here. A tarn tower of Gary Anderson against Robert Thornton. Anderson only has to avoid defeat. A win or a draw would do it. He will book his place in the semi-finals and join Michael Van Guren and Phil the Power Taylor. Good win last week. 7-5 win over Barney. 6-6 six, six with Peter Wright. But Thornton is a spoiler. Can he dash the dreams of Gary Anderson? Wayne Marvel and Rod Studio commentators. Thanks, Dave. Yes, it would take a mathematical miracle for the defending champion to be eliminated before finals night now even if he loses tonight of course he has one game up in his locker Same in Rotterdam next week against Adrian Jackpot Lewis a point from the two games will be enough even if he lost twice he might be able to get through on leg difference perhaps and Robert Thornton well as Wayne was saying pre-match did well to avoid elimination but since then not a lot of spark from the Thorn. I've been a bit disappointed with the Thorn in the last couple of weeks. I expected him to be competitive, but two, seven, two defeats consecutively. Yeah, he's just he's just lacked that that early game rally that you'd like to see of him. His, his first couple of legs in too many matches have been really poor. And this is good. The Sky Sports Golden Tickets winners, Jonathan Scholes and his mates. If you want to get involved with that at Sky Sports Darts on our Twitter page. Uh, a chance to find a ticket for the Arras, your local boozer. Could be a better way, could it? 96. No. Gary looking for another. Now looking for a 54. 174. He got the 54. Leaves 32. 58. Good old Gary start Uruguay, from Ando. The reigning Premier League champ and the reigning world champion. And 24. He convert. Robert the answer Uruguay, is no. 147. Oh, no, 147 for Robert Thornton. 59. Gary Require 8. Double four. Game shot. And Gary Anderson. Anderson. Gary Anderson. It's the first leg in his pocket. Game on. First of six he requires to be mathematically certain of a place at the 0-2 on finals night as he bids to defend his crown. We know Van Gerwen will there. We know Taylor is there. Anderson is almost there. Will it be Lewis or will it be Snakebite Wright in the final position? 99. 7-1 win for Peter Wright tonight over James Wade. Gives him a chance. Hey, Gary had a, a double header last week. 140. Beat Barney 7 5 and then drew with Peter Wright. But there was a point in that Peter Wright game where he, he 177 and then took out 56. And the composure he showed just told me that when push comes to shove, Gary Anderson, we know, has got it. It's a trait that was missing for many, many years, but. We don't win back. 135. He never gripped it right. He wanted to re grip the, the treble five. You could see that with Gary 96. as he pulled the dart back. 
on the backswing. He, he went to regrip it again, but thought, ah, it'll go in. Gary! 60. Robert Yukwa, 170. Ninety-six. Gary Oakwell, one hundred and twenty-six. Maybe it'll be a one-two-six bullseye finish. No, no, sir. Fifty-eight. Robert Oakwell, seventy-four. Single twenty now. Tops. Gets on the sick leg. Robert Thornton. <laughs> Seven well legs carried it from first. Game on. But look, that'll make him feel a whole lot better. No one wants to be annihilated and white was 7-0 especially not for a third time well, not when it's happened twice before in the same season I mean they are rarities these white washes 140 there to be three against the same player in the same season utterly unheard of anyway Anderson leads 5-1 remember he only needs to get to six to definitely qualify for the finals that's the the key objective here for the flying Scotsman 108 First 180 for Robert. 18. I think this is uh, one of the smoothest performances I've seen from Gary Anderson. He's just looked, just looked so in control, so cool. There's no drama in his throw at all. He's just walking up there, throwing them, and making it look ridiculously easy. Robert, you require 122. Treble, 18 needed. Bullseye needed. Missed it once in the match. 97. Gary Uruguay, 40. Missed it again by a whisker. They're not wasting much time, are they? Game's on the seventh leg. Gary Anderson. 6-1. Gary Anderson. First. Game on. Will be in the playoffs. But the thing is, what's interesting is that One Gary Anderson, 40. after this, if he wins, he needs another leg. But it looks a certainty. It will be on 20 points. It'll be two points behind Phil Taylor. Phil Taylor has Adrian Lewis later. Could he possibly nick second spot? It's a possibility. 16. It is a possibility. He's got to play Adrian Lewis next week. Phil Taylor has got to play Michael Van Gerwen next week. 100. We see Robert just struggle. 100. We've mentioned those seven nils that it's not going to do you link difference any good at all. 140. Gary's looked really good, isn't he? Averaging 103. 59. Gary Ogwa, 161. For a 7 1, can he replicate the scoreline of Peter Wright, James Wade? Just in case you missed it, Peter Wright beat James Wade by seven back to back world titles and two Premier Leagues. If you're not special, 16. Yeah, I think for Gary Anderson, it was all about just getting into that top four because he knows when the heat is really turned up, he's got it. As you've just said, Wayne, he had it at the Alexandra Palace back to back, he had it at the O2 Arena, he knows he's got it there in his locker. And whoever he plays at the moment. Most likely outcome is that he'll play Phil Taylor in a semi final. He'll fancy 100. Himself. Will Robert he be? 121. Does Robert fancy this? Triple 17. Well, they go back up for the 60. It's a beautiful marker that, that he got Gary nowhere near. 117. Just not at the races, Robert, is he? He's not the quality, not showing it time and time again 77. like we used to. Robert, you require 72. 48 left, so eight for tops probably. 32. Gary Uruguay, 40. It's also rushed. That Gary wasn't. On the second leg. Gary Perfection. Anderson. Two nil up. Gary, Gary Anderson. First. Game on. Well, Robert Thornton has lost five of his last six matches in the Premier League. The odd one out was a 7 2 tonking of Peter Wright. 100. In week 11. That could be a result that really comes back to bite snake bite, couldn't it? Because had he got something there, his uh, prospects of 45. finishing in the top four would have been far rosier. Anderson, by contrast, just one loss in 12. 137. Really been solid since 
tricky start when he wasn't well, he was under the weather, wasn't he, Wayne? And Mr. Week and just took a little bit of time to get going, but since then he really has heard along. Yeah, and his first two opponents were Michael Van Gerwen and Phil Taylor, so that really didn't help. Since then, he's shown all his quality. His first 180, 2 0 up, averaging 103. 100. That's what world champions do, isn't it? Double 12 then. Plenty of time. Six. He's going to miss. He's missed it on the right side, the outside. Comes back for another three at that 24 if he needs them. In fact, he might have a, another six here unless Thornton can find a biggie. 86. Gary Ogwan, 24. Three's in. Gary Anderson. The last time these well, two met was in Exeter. And Gary ran out a 7 4 winner. And I'm not saying the game was poor, but it was one of the worst games I think we've seen in this year's Premier League. Gary averaged just shy of 80, 89, I think. And Robert was, was 85. Gary's having none of that tonight. 105, two 180s. Robert just seems to be going through the most. 60. Well, perhaps a pertinent point in this darts match to mention that Robert Thornton has been whitewashed twice in the Premier League this year already. 7-0 to Dave Chisnell in week one, and then 7-0 to Phil Taylor. Week six. 96.